There really isn't any debate on the topic of martial arts helping us improve our mental skills. We learn concentration, discipline, awareness, and analytical thinking when we train. But those are skills that are learned and that we reinforce. Does training in the martial arts actually improve our brains on a functional or anatomical level? Let's find out. So we all generally know the kind of improvements that the martial arts can provide for us mentally. Critical thinking, coordination, observation, memorization, communication, problem solving. You could say that the benefits are immeasurable. However, apparently when it comes to cognitive function, they may be measurable after all. So the reason that we're doing this topic is based off of a question I have been getting on a regular basis. I have received a lot of comments and messages asking me if it's too late to start the martial arts. Now, this is a common and understandable question for someone who may be older, but interestingly enough, I've also been getting this question from teenagers. Also related to this, I have been getting a lot of comments lately from people getting excited about the martial arts and that they plan to start training either when they hit their goal weight or when they hit a certain age or they put it off until a different milestone. First, I'm going to answer this quickly and bluntly. No, it's not too late to start training at any age. And I also highly recommend not putting it off until you meet a milestone. Training in the martial arts has a vast array of benefits and in many cases will help you achieve your milestones quicker. So bottom line, if you are interested or even just a little bit curious in the martial arts, then I highly encourage you to start training and reaping those benefits as soon as possible. Now, there is an emerging field of study that is beginning to explore that whether or not partaking specifically in martial arts offers more cognitive benefits compared to general overall exercise. I will be referring to a study we found at the U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health, and it's the beginning of a very interesting study. You can find a full link to the article below in the video description. So the question is, do martial arts provide improved cognitive ability versus engaging in other types of exercise? To answer this, researchers selected 10 middle-aged volunteers that had training in the Korean art of Subakdo. They were selected based on the criteria of being between the age of 40 and 65, had reached a level of black belt or higher, trained on a regular schedule, and had good color vision. These participants were studied as they took part in three activities of the test, each activity separated by week. The first was a typical martial arts class. The following week was an atypical martial arts class, and the final week was an aerobic walk at self-regulated speeds. The typical martial arts class was structured like a traditional class. Warm-ups, blocking drills, punching and kicking drills, forms, sets, sparring, and then a cool-down period. The atypical class consisted of the same practice techniques, but at various speeds, performed on the opposite sides, performed in reverse, or in any other way that was different from the regular way that they trained. The aerobic walk was selected specifically because it was a repetitive activity, self-regulated, and there are already existing studies that show that walking at moderate paces already improves cognitive function, so this was the control activity. Participants were assessed before and after each activity to measure their cognitive function to see if there was any difference immediately following the exercise. So, what were the results? Again, the full detailed study is linked below, but after the participants were assessed, it was revealed that each participant showed an increase in cognitive function after each exercise. So this just showed that the benefit seen previously with moderate aerobic exercise was also present after martial arts session. Not really surprising. However, what is interesting is that while there was an increase in cognitive ability after each activity, it was only after the two martial arts sessions that the participants showed an increase in executive function. To quote the study, executive function is the highest order of cognitive function involved in selective attention, judgment, anticipation, planning, and conflict resolution through selective inhibition. Why did the martial arts sessions increase executive function and aerobic exercise did not? Well, it's most likely due to the skills utilized during each session. Walking is a repetitive, low intensity activity, while martial arts involves more complex movements, skill, timing, and quick decision making. So how is this even measured? The participants were assessed by using a psychological evaluation known as the Stroop test, which was named after researcher John Ridley Stroop. While his early tests were experimental, it is utilized today in much more complex and detailed studies. Essentially, the test consists of three parts. In the first part, each volunteer is presented with the names of three colors printed in a black font. They are timed at how quickly they can read the color described. In the second session, they were presented with the letter X printed in different colors, and they were once again timed at how quickly they could identify the color. Now the third part of the test is the kicker. The participants were then presented with the names of the colors, but the font was printed in a conflicting color. They were asked to name the color of the font, not the word printed. They had to inhibit one mental choice in favor of the other. 
The first two tests of just the word and then the color identification are used to assess attention and processing speed, while the color combo conflict utilizes the response of executive function. So while all three activities demonstrated an increase in attention and speed, it was only after the martial arts sessions was there an increase in more complex dynamic cognitive ability. At the surface level, this sounds very rudimentary and simple, but I invite you to read the full study. This is an early and ongoing study, and they implemented other variables such as different age groups, comparing it to similar activities such as Tai Chi and yoga, and even talking about some of the limits and challenges of the tests. I would personally love to see where these continued studies go, and I don't know about you guys, but I personally feel sharper and more functional after a martial arts session. Maybe it's due to an engagement of that part of the brain, or maybe it's just all in my mind. But I want to reiterate that anyone who's considering joining the martial arts, if your curiosity is there, then you don't need another reason to join. There is no need to reach a weight or a goal. If anything, martial arts will help contribute to that. It's a new year, and this is the time people are motivated to start something new. So it's a good time to minimize YouTube and go check out a couple of your local schools. I mean, after you like and subscribe, of course. But take a look at a few different schools, talk to the instructors, let them know what your interests are or what your goals are, and try a couple of classes if they let you. You'll know pretty quickly if this place is a good fit for you. So let me know what all of your experiences are. Do you agree with the study? Have you noticed any difference in decision making or cognitive skills after training? Is there anything that surprised you? And for fun, as a future topic, we may explore the study that looks at the opposite of this. The research of whether or not visualizing martial arts in your mind can actually improve your physical performance. That should be a fun one. Thanks for watching, guys.